Welcome back my Monster Hunter friends to Dazran Trio Tree's Monster Hunter Tree Ultimate Let's Play and look at my new armor, isn't it sweet? This is from the Azuros. We just captured him about 20 million times just to finish off this armor set. So now we have it and we're going to move on with the quests and adventures. Now one thing I did notice is that uh, throughout this whole armor I have five slots. That is including one slot on my weapon and I'm going to tell you today about decorations and how important they are. So we're going to go into the Wyvern Artisan here and I want to show you, um, we're just going to skip what he's saying there, decorations, here we go. I just want to show you um, what will help you with your capture quests. So we're going to go into forge decorations and what you're going to want to do here, it makes it easier if you press minus to see what these things really do because uh, they have funky kind of names. Alarm Jewel is obviously anti-theft but you wouldn't know that just by reading alarm so you could do that, anti-theft. So we are looking for a yellow stone called Perception. And Perception allows you to see when the monster is ready for capture. So you do see signs of them limping, but that doesn't always mean they're ready for capture. So this will help you out. And this, uh, if you can see there on the top, it says Perception 2. So you need to build up 10 for in, in order to have the Perception skill activated. So if we can see a different page here, no we can't actually. So we need to make 5 Perception Jewels, but we, are, we have no binoculars. And we have one less Renopolis shell to make five of them. So we need one more Renopolis shell. So, to start off this episode, we are going to do some sort of quest in the Sandy Plains. And then we are going to work on getting the Perception um, jewels made for our armor. So actually, I'm going to buy five sets of binoculars right now because that's what we need. And they're pretty cheap. And the Argosy is here as well. So they should be pretty even cheaper, I suppose. Let's see. Binoculars 25Z. Easy. 125Z, that's it. Renopolis are ready to go. So now all we need now is one more Renopolis shell. And we have the perception skill activated in our new armor set. So um, let's get a meal going. As always, just before you go on a quest. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. Although, is there something else I could use to boost my... Maybe, maybe mossy cheese. Mossy cheese with some moss pork. That's lovely. Too much moss, but anyhow. Gatherer, Super Carver, that's what you want. Okay, we're going to steam it for Super Carver. I don't know if this meal is going to be tasty though. <laughs> I haven't had a bad meal yet. The flavor is blended harmoniously. What's this about? Hey, Super Carver is activated. So we might get an extra carve or two out of some of the monsters we go to kill. So anyway, let's look for a quest in the Sandy Plains. Right, so there's the Harvest Tour, the, f the Flooded Forest. That's no good to us. Trapping a trickster. That's Deserted Island. Renopolis Rampage. That sounds like the perfect quest. We have to kill... How many Renopolis? Six. Six Renopolis. So let's go and do that one right now. In our new armor. So the only problem is with this armor... Is we're really going to miss the Speed Gatherer... Uh, skill we had activated on the leather suit. So when I go pick it up mushrooms... They don't pick up as quite as fast. So it can be quite annoying. But for that reason alone... It's, it's fine. Shouldn't be too bad. Right. Well done, steak. Right, so where are all the Renopolis? I think they're in 4, 3, 2, and 7. I think that's where they all are. Maybe 11, I'm not sure. Oh, there's no need for me to take a ration. I'm already full of stamina. Uh, normal S level 2. Where the hell are these guys? I can hear one. There's one. <laughs> I could hear him. He's stomping around. Alright, as always, with Renopolis, you want to shoot him in the side because he'll die in two shots. Or three shots, is it? Oh no, two shots, excuse me. I was right the first time. Now, because I've got Super Carver, I would normally... Oh, look at these. Look. Just because you're so annoying, I'm actually going to kill you off. Get away! this. Stay away from my prize. Right. So we should only get two carves from this chap. With Super Carver, it does give you the uh, ability to carve more than two, but not all the time. So there's two, and he's gone. Okay, so that was only two that time. Right, so we're going to move it on to area number three. And have a looky-see. And see what we can find. Hopefully we get some extra carves out of these Renopolis. That'll be handy. Alright, there's no Renopolis here. Area number two, then. 
We'll go to number two and then we'll head on to number seven because there is definitely Renopolis there. What the hell is going on? Okay, because there's a butterfly here, let's get him. <laughs> let's get him! Yeah. See how long it took me to get that? Look. It takes way longer. So slow. I really miss the speed gatherer thing now. So anytime I go on these kind of quests, I think I'm going to use this armor from now on when I'm in battles with big monsters. But if I'm not in a battle with a big monster, I think I'm going to stick with the, uh, the leather suit so I can do speed gathering. Okay, they're definitely in the hot areas then. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Where are they? There's two. Any more? No. Look at this. Scorching weather out. It's a beautiful day here. We're wearing really heavy armor. Right, let's get a normal S level 2. Although I can get out number 3 and see if it kills him in one shot in the side. Oh my god, it took 3 shots. What? That's weird. Watch out, cha cha! Right, raw meat. No good to us. Let's see if we get something else here. If we get another carve after this. No, he's gone. Just two carves. Oh, that's because the carve took so long. I don't know. Defense boost. Thank you. Give me the carve. There you go. Raw meat. Again, getting pretty bad items off these guys. I want some shells. Raw meat. Maybe I should cook my meat, wait for some more Renopolis to show up in this area. Just while I have loads of raw meat, might as well get it cooked. Because we need that for... You actually need some raw meat for some of the jewels you want. Well done, steak. Any more Renopolis? So tasty! So tasty! Alright. Come on, Chacha. -cha. Let's get going. I love the skinny passage all the way to area number nine. Where the hell are all the Renopolis? Check area number eight. Did we go to area seven? Yes, we did. Okay. So we did one, two, three, and four. Ah, here we are. There's three of them here in this one. Giant Alterat. Stay back. That ant is going to make carving a nightmare. Although it's going for Cha Cha, so that's okay. <laughs> oh, come on. Get another carve in here. Renopolis shell. It's the stuff. That is the stuff. It's hiding behind here from the other guy. Oh, he still saw me. I wonder if he can get me through this item. <laughs> He's dazed. Look at that. <laughs> That's what you get. Messing with me and my new armor. Will you get away? A Renopolis. It takes the same amount of bullets to kill an ant as it does a Renopolis. That's crazy. I've still only managed to get two carves out of each. Holy crap. Still. What the hell? Objective complete. Let's carve him really quickly. We're turning to village in one minute, so we've got a bit of time to maybe get to kill the other guy as well. Raw meat, come on. I think I've got enough Renopolis shells anyway, but... Renopolis scalp. Hurry up. Ah, thank you, Ant. Thanks for helping me. Quickly. Might get two carves off here if he breaks up my animation. No, he missed. Freaking raw meat. What's going on? But I think at the end of this Renopolis Rampage quest, you do get a lot of uh, Renopolis parts, so that's good. Is 
kill one more. The quest is going to finish now any second. I'm not going to get this last carve. Ah. <laughs> Returning supply items. Quest complete for Death Red Trio Tree in his new armor set. Right. Sense item box. Renopolis shell. We got two. Another two. And we got one scalp and a one scalp. And monster mystery bone. Monster bone S and mystery bone tree. Sweet. That's another quest done. Now, we're going to make the perception jewel. And then we're probably going to go ahead and do a capture quest. So, save your progress, of course. But in order for the perception um, gems to work, you have to paintball the target that you want to capture. So, um, let's do it then. Let's do it. Let's forge some decorations. All right. So, perception. Perception jewel one. So it gives you two, so we need five. Right. Three, four, five. Excellent. Now, we'll just set them all in. So we're going to set the perception jewel. That's one done. Here's another. Put one in the helmet. Can't put one in the legs for some reason. There's no slots in the legs. So... Uh, I'm missing one out of the armor set, but luckily there's a set in the gun that we're using, so we can do this. And now, if we go into our... I'll show you everything I've activated so at the moment. So this is my status. Um, does it show you here? It should do. I've got Capture Guru. Grants knowledge of when a large monster can be captured. Double paralysis. Um, I can't actually move between these ones for some reason. Oh, I can. Probably down. Anti-theft prevents item theft. Recovery up increases the efficiency of health recovery items. Auto guard. I don't think I can use this when blocking is possible because I don't have a shield or something like that. I don't know. Defense up. S slightly increased defense. And double paralysis. Double the duration of paralysis that I may cause on a target. So I can't use that at the moment. But if I was using something like the gobble jewel blades, I'd be able to paralyze for longer. Now let's see if we can upgrade our weapon. What are we missing to upgrade our weapon? Because we haven't upgraded our weapon in a long time. So here it is. The Bone Blaster Plus. Bone Buster needs uh, three Carpenter Bugs more. Okay, so unfortunately we can't do that. Alright, let's ditch all the Renopolis stuff. Store items. Azuros Pelt. Where did I get that from? Did I take that with me into that quest? <laughs> Right, so we got some raw steaks, so I'm going to set that up so I can... We will ditch the tranquilizer ones because we have bullets as well as some bombs that we'll get in the next quest. So what are we going to capture today? Let's see what needs a capturing. Let's just make sure we have enough ammo while the Argosy is still here. Did we actually do that rare trade as well? We got a two-star rare, rare trade item. I don't think we did yet. Yeah, the flamboyant quill. So let's have a look and see what we can get for that. Uh, I wouldn't waste it on these decorations. They're just decorations and clothes for your pig and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Bind Shroom. A giant paralyzing mushroom. Just one touch can immobilize you, so handle with care. Hmm. Waka Waka Dance. Documents a wacky dance that entrances mind and body. Angel Leotard. That is something for your pig. That's just a waste. Book of Combos 5. You know what? I'm not ready to do this yet. I am not ready to um, cancel trade. Yes. Get rid of my two-star commodity yet. Because he's going to bring better stuff along the next time, I hope. Right. Now, what ammo can we buy? Get some flaming ammo. Normal S level 3. 45. We need them. And, of course, the pellet ammo for taking out big crowds. And normal S level 2. That should be it. Right you. Let's have a meal then. Now we're going to keep this um, armor set as well. Because we've got the capture guru and it's a... I'm going to drink some salty milk. That is disgusting. Salty milk. <laughs> Attack S. Okay, let's steam it then. Right, uh, what was I saying? I'm going to wear this armor because I'm taking on a big monster. I think I'm going to go for that Royal Ludrat. The flavors bend harmoniously. Bend? I mean blend. <laughs> so, we're taking on a Royal Ludrat, and his attacks are mostly water. 
So if we go into our status, what are we? Feline trainer speeds up Cha Cha and Kiamba's growth and prevents them from fighting with each other. Huh. Feline bombardier increases cannon, ballista, cragshot, cragshot S, and gun lance ammo damage. Ah, the gun lance. Um. Don't think it actually says there, does it? Oh, the paralysis is a, is a bad thing. I didn't realize. Okay. It's against me. I thought it was with me. So if we get paralyzed, we'll be paralyzed for twice as long. Alright, so let's see what kind of... Um, okay, we could track a Quarrel Peko. Trap one. Uh, toxic Troublemaker. Hunt a Great Rorgi. Or Hunt a Royal Ludros. What's the urgent one? I thought it was an urgent one. Maybe it's not urgent anymore. <laughs> no guts, no glory. Okay, so let's... Um, the deadliest catch. No. Save our boat. I suppose I should do this one. Uh, I thought there was some capture quests to do. There is one against Quarapeco, but you know what? This is an important one to do against the Royal Ludrat, and he is a formidable foe at this early stage of the game, so he's much harder than Azuros. Anyone is, really. And he's much harder than the Great Jaggy as well, so... We're going to take all the stuff we can to use against this chap. Oh, we got a poison knife. We can paintball him. And we can't take any of this ammo at the moment, but yeah, let's go. Let's go! I have a full stamina bar, this is great. Right. Oh, look at that sky, I haven't seen the, the flooded forests. This is brilliant. And is this night time? What kind of time of day is this? What was that, a butterfly? Oh, I don't have my speed gatherer, so you know what? I'm not actually going to bother with that. Oh, he might be in here. Where is Royal Ludras? He's not up here. So anytime I go taking on a big monster, I'm not going to pick up stuff. I'm not going to mine for anything. I want to have my leather suit on for that. not up here. Did we go into area number three? I can't remember. I think he's in area number two. Actually, what am I doing? Cha-cha, where is he? Okay, he's in area number four. Holy crap, look at that thing. Hey. Okay, we're about to face a Royal Ludras for the first time. He is freaking huge. <laughs> He's even bigger than the Wii U version. There's more pixels in him. How did he see me? Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Swimming right towards him. I wonder can I just shoot him from the water and he can't get me. Although if I'm not careful, he's going to jump in with me. Oh no. I'm gonna get back up on land, see if he'll come back out, because I think he's uh he's easier to get on the ground as opposed to in water. He's coming! Ugh. Oh yeah, excellent. I love the way he just came out there, he's just, like staring for ages. <laughs> and I think it is Royal Ludrat's weakness as well, fire, so I've got the flaming S ammo. Oh no, he's gonna start spitting all over the place. 
Yes, quick reload in. Get out of the way, you. after him. The normal SM is actually, well, level 3. It's really doing well here underwater. It's doing loads of ricochets, which is very good. Look at that. That is excellent. This is my new favorite underwater ammo. Ugh. Get out of the way, Royal Ludrat. I mean Ludrat, not Royal Ludrat. That is a Royal Ludrat, not the small guys. <laughs> Shiza. Now we've got him targeted. The Wii U gamepad. It's a new feature. These guys are picking away at me. Oh, I'm dazed. Not for long, thankfully. Holy crap, just blocked that. So many shots are devastating. Get down, get down. bullets that we left. On the Wii version it used to show you how many bullets you had and all the rest of that. It doesn't anymore. Alright, let's go back on land. That suits me better. Water fights are kind of awkward. He's leaving. Okay. Good time to use a first aid med. Holy crap. Who invited you? I forgot about these, we can get him poisoned as well. And we should paintball him. Before I forget. <laughs> He's poisoned. Maybe it's because he's such a big character that it ricochets, ricochets, <laughs> ricochets, all over the place. Holy crap, I didn't think he'd hit me there. What the hell is... I thought there was someone going to the toilet over there. That's what it sounded like. Oh, if I had a Felvine bomb, that would have been good. That gets all the cats after him. He's throwing bombs at me! You little... Oh, it's because I killed all your brothers and sisters in the last couple of episodes, isn't it? Nice try. Oh! Who can play at that rolling game? He's doing it again. Oh, yeah! So satisfying when it starts ricocheting all over the place. Ugh. Damn it. What did I see over there shining? I'm not your enemy, cats. I'm not your enemy. Stay away from me. Uh. Whoa. <laughs> the cats are getting hit by the ricochets. <laughs> Drop something. Could be something handy like a first aid kit. Oh, get off. Tumble for the tail so you can get out of the way of his big spongy afro thing. He's gonna. No, he's not. What the hell is that? That's. When he spits out those balls, they make this weird noise. Nice shot. <laughs> and the spongy hide is broken. That's good. Oh, 
Oh, I got about three or four. Oh, change ammo. Okay, let's go over and get that shiny thing. Out of the way, cat. It's important stuff. To be a spongy hide or mature sponge. Oh, it's a wyvern here. Okay, we can see him. We've got him painted on the map. So keep your eye on the uh, painted character on the map, actually, because when he's ready for capture, that paint ball should start flashing. Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get ready with this ammo, because I can do siege mode, as I call it. And uh, I'm going to stun him, because I just picked up an easy flash bomb. So we'll stun him, and then we'll get ready with the siege mode. Let's throw it now. Right, so he's down. So he should be down for a little while. So we can get a couple of good shots off. While he fumbles around. If that thing is near me... Yeah! Hey, it didn't hit me. Oh, and he got me. <laughs> but I've got loads of water. Loads of water defense, so it shouldn't be a problem. He's down again. Flaming S ammo, going in. Get away, Ludrat, will ya? I've only got two bullets. I'm so used to pulling the trigger like crazy. Oh, look at the state of him. And the paintball is flashing. He's ready for capture. That's what this suit does for me now. So that is good. All we need now is a capture quest and we're good to go. Come on, Royal Ludras. He's still ready for capture even though he looks angry. He's kind of in rage mode, but... He's still weak and ready for capture. If I'm not careful, he'll get a nice couple of attacks off him, you know. What are they doing, the little herbivore yokes? Get away! Let me kill my target in peace! Oh, you got me again! did not just get me there as well, did he? I don't think he did. So my recovery is my recovery with this suit, I'm gonna dive downwards. Yes. No, I didn't evade it, damn it. My recovery is pretty high, so. No, what the recovery does. Let me get going, will ya? What the recovery does is if you use a health item such as a first aid kit, you might even get the benefits of using a mega potion that just heals you that much. Something like that anyway. What I thought it would do is it would recover where the red health is. Did he just go in here? Right, so he has gone to... Oh my god, look how far he's gone away. He's area number eight. He's going for a sleep. That's his sleeping spot. So we haven't spent too much time here on this jungle, so it would be handy if I came back here with the leather suit and started picking up all the different kind of ores you can get here. Plegisite ore, I think, is one of them. And all the different bugs and the dragon toadstools and all this other rare stuff. I say rare. It's rarer than a... Uh, well, anything is rare when you're not here for long. <laughs> Do you know if you're getting all the stuff from Moga Woods, anything you get from here is like, wow, it's new and it's rare. You could call it that. Right, I'm going to mine that stone after I kill him. So we're going to wake him up with a throwing knife. <laughs> Come on, do your little more. Unimpressed. Ugh. He's gonna roll, is he? No. He's gonna jump. For my love. Oh, right in the spine. He's still ready for capture. I should have kept my eye on him when he was sleeping to see if he recovered any kind of health. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get rid of his tail, unfortunately. That's usually good for a couple of carves. Or maybe just one, I'm not sure. Jump again! No. Surely he's ready to die now. If he's ready for capture, I'm doing so much damage to him here. 
Maybe he's not weak to this flaming SM. I'm not sure. A couple more shots, let's see. Oh, the underbelly. He's screaming like a girl. And it's done. Objective complete. Now, where was that? Or where am I going? Over here. I can't really see where I'm going, but I'm looking at the map, and I think I'm going in the right direction. Here it is. I'll get one or two chops off of this, then we'll go back to Ludrat and carve him. Matchalite ore. Iron ore. Nothing rare yet. <laughs> spongy hide. Is that unique to Royal Ludrat? I think you can get spongy hide from Ludrats as well. Normal ones, but I'm not sure. Look at this cave. It's beautiful. Dash extract. That's good. If we mix a dash extract with a well done steak, we can get uh, mega dash juice, which stops stamina depletion altogether, which is really good. But mega dash juice is hard to come by, I guess. Anything else we can get before the quest ends? Is there mushrooms around somewhere? Oh, look at that cave. It's lovely. Quest complete. Royal Ludrat is killed and no more. Oh yeah, the final shot. Okay, let's send all this stuff to the box. Royal Ludrat scale, Aqua Sack, a monster organ designed to hold and preserve water. I don't think that was in Monster Hunter 3, try. Dash Extract, a mysterious substance that can be culled from certain monsters. Quality Sponge, Royal Ludrat Crest, two claws. We got a flash bug. Nullberry and another crest and spongy height. So that's um that easy bomb I threw. The flash bomb was actually really handy. Main contender. That's an added to the gallery. The flash bomb I, I threw was very handy for Ludra because he got stunned and then I went down into siege mode and started blasting him with bullets. I don't think he liked that at all. So that was really good for getting his health down. Oh what's going on here? I probably should have done this Royal Ludra quest ages ago, but I was preoccupied getting a new armor suit so I could take on bigger and stronger monsters. Such as Royal Ludrat. Anyway. So that is it. Oh, we've got a couple of people around the village that we're going to have to talk to. There's going to be new quests unlocked because we just got uh, the Royal Ludrat. And I think one of the boats has been repaired. So Cap'n isn't on his own anymore. Thanks for coming along to this episode, everybody. And see you next time for another episode of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate Let's Play. Bye, everyone. <laughs>